What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get right into this. The song is Morgan somebody, okay, wasted on you. And the part that's sticking out to me is like, I don't always wake up in the morning, pour myself a strong one. Uh, but when I get lonely, I do. Your memory gets a burning, lean back on the bourbon. Show as hell can't keep leaning on you. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. It's all my fault. Yeah, I dropped the ball. So I feel like now I gotta read this how I'm feeling it now. Shit, if you feel like the roles are reversed, take it how it is. But it's like somebody out here might like have let somebody back into their energy, okay? Somebody was doing good. Somebody was doing all right for themselves. And they let somebody back into their energy. And this person ended up hurting them again. Like, overstepping their boundaries. Bullshitting again. So now I feel like there's somebody out here that could be getting, you know, drinking a little bit. Trying to, you know, drinking an extra glass of wine at night. Helping that anxiety. Helping them fall asleep so they ain't gotta deal with what this bullshit that this person put them through. Because literally says, you know, I don't always wake up in the morning, pour myself a strong one. Uh, but when I get lonely, I, I do. Your memory gets to burning. So it's like you might not just be sitting here getting this flaccid, dr flash out drunk. Okay, now if it resonates for your other person. Take it how it is. But I'm reading it the way I, my spirit guides have me reading it. Okay. Like you might not be flash out drunk. But, you know, the memory get every day, but the memory gets to burning, lean back on the bourbon, sure as hell can't keep leaning on you. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. It's all my fault. I dropped the ball. So somebody's like blaming their self, feeling like, damn, now I'm learning the hard way again. Because I feel like somebody gave somebody a second chance. And somebody got kind of got through it. Things were good. And now it's like, damn, now they're blaming themselves. I dropped the ball. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. You know, shit. Somebody's realizing I sure as hell can't keep leaning on you. You know, and somebody might be drinking a little extra glass of wine at night, a little extra shot at night. They fear losing money. Money is a higher priority. Mm. So whatever this person has going on in their life, they're very superficial, artificial, okay? This could even be where it comes to like show as hell can keep leaning on you. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. And I don't even feel like you need this person in a monetary way. This person might have their shit together, but they're scared that they're going to... Why? Why? overloaded at work work takes over this life their life so this person is could be a workaholic this person could make excuses that they are working when you know that they're not truly working they're actually without with somebody else mm -hmm. there could definitely be somebody else in this person's energy that and I gotta be honest, I gotta read it. I'm not I can't fake it to make it for you guys that has more money than what you have. There could be somebody else in their energy. What's at the bottom? They're in a cycle of lust focused on physical attraction. Yeah, there's somebody else in their energy that has a little more going on than what you have going on financially, okay? And Money makes a motherfucker 10 times hotter than what they truly are, right? You know, money make an ugly motherfucker fine, right? Two shallow people, right? Um, But whoever this person you're dealing with, in, with, they're stuck in this cycle of lust. They're focused on physical attraction 
and they done ran towards somebody who seems like they have more money than you, finery than you, you know, it's like, damn, you, you gave this person a second chance, you let them back in, and then all of a sudden, like, what you had, or what you had to give, wasn't enough for them. How you looked, how you carried yourself wasn't enough for them. Either way it goes. So they ran towards somebody they thought had more money. I feel like there's an energy, okay? And I got to be like 100 when it comes to this. Like... When it comes to this connection, you're scared to turn the wheel and move forward and take action on this, okay? Because you know how shallow and what a piece of shit this person can be. And I'm, and I'm not calling your person a piece of shit, but you, you know how iffy and how wishy-washy they can be, okay? How they can change their mind at the drop of a dime, Okay? And whatever they're running towards, they're not emotionally invested in that situation, okay? They're not emotionally invested in that situation at all whatsoever. But see, whatever that situation is, it keeps them breaded up. It keeps them money in their pocket. It keeps them living a lifestyle where they don't have to worry about anything, But there's also an energy where this person, there's something about you who could be like a popular loan, loner. I don't know why I just heard that. But it's like at times, like you just want to be left alone. You might be indulging in a lot of seclusion right now, not wanting to be fucked with, okay? This person could be coming in trying to make a change, but it's like you're resisting this change. You don't want to turn the wheel with this person. You basically just kind of want to be left alone right now. And I feel like this is basically with everyone. Like people could be trying to pull you out the house and do this and that. But somebody here, it could be that's not for everybody. But somebody is just wanting to um, spend time in seclusion and work on their own motherfucking money. And to be quite honest. What's funny is this person who's not in, whoever you are dealing with, who's not invested with this person, who they went for, for looks and money and was, this, this is one of them bitches who are boo, or men, okay, who are bougie acting, but ain't got a motherfucking thing, okay? How you gonna be bougie acting, but crusty toad? How you gonna be bougie acting, but your house dirty? You see what I'm saying? So this is, like, they went towards somebody that was bougie as shit. But didn't have nothing. And this person is not emotionally invested in this other situation. This person is truly invested in you. But see, the thing is, you're resisting this person. You want to be left alone. You want to be in seclusion. Because of what this person has done. You see that. If money can change a person that easily, if you can switch up on me that easily for money or basic bullshit, then why would I ever trust or love or give my loyalty to you? This person switched up their heart, look at that heart on that card, so motherfucking quickly for somebody that they weren't even emotionally invested in, where they didn't even have any mutual feelings for. Why? For money. For money reasons. And at the bottom of the deck, there was something about looks and shit like that. And here they are coming towards you now to where they're truly emotionally invested. And you're in this energy of, look, no, nah, hell no, nah, I'm resisting this change. I don't want to try. I don't want this wheel to turn. I want to be left the fuck alone. I want to be left in seclusion. What try to flip out? Difficult to control and would, it will do whatever to please them. Mm, mm, mm. See, there's two energies here. Wow. And because this crystal right here, and the crystal isn't even there. It fell way over there. 
it fell off and it flipped this card. So there's two energies here. I got to put some WD-40 on my chair, y'all. Don't judge me, okay? Difficult to control, okay? And then you got, and we'll do whatever to please them. Here you got you over here, okay? Who is not one to be played with. It's difficult to control you. They can't come in with that little bullshit and try to change and tell you they changed and just come on in. No, nah, you, you're you fine. Like, I'm, I'm hearing that Molly Cyrus song, Flowers. I can buy my flower, flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours, things you don't understand. I can talk to myself for hours, things you don't understand. Just leave me the fuck alone. You chose money. You will fold on me in a heartbeat. Uh-uh. And even if you love this person and you do want to get back to them, somebody's needing space right now. While they got this other energy over here who they're not emotionally invested in. 11-11 when I look down. That's crazy as hell. 11-11 when I look down, okay? That they're not even emotional. That's crazy in the highest power. Not in the hell spirit. I love you ancestors and guides okay not emotionally invested so they got this person over here that they're not emotionally invested in the feelings aren't mutual they just thought they were going to get some money out of this person and this because they know this person is willing to do whatever to please them mm -hmm. i cannot make this shit up so here they are over here sticking to this person who they don't even truly care about but knows has a weak spot for them because they think they finna get a dollar a dime out of it. And they know whoever this person is, this karmic is willing to do whatever the fuck they can to please this person. But uh, uh here's you on this side who they're over here begging to speak to and you're like, no, I don't want to turn the wheel and move forward with you. I want to be left the fuck alone. I want to be in seclusion right now. And they know. Your person knows. You're the one that's difficult to control. Ain't no control in their changing their motherfucking mind. Are you crazy? Look, someone got ghosted. They were scared and had to run. Mm. Mm. I think it's actually your person getting ghosted by you. What's very interesting here. Shit. This person ghosted you, thinking that they were going to get something out of this person that they were unemotionally invested in. And now they're getting ghosted by you. And you feel like, you know what, like, time to run, time to go. Yeah, there's a little fly there. My, my door is open. It's 85 degrees. Don't play with me. Shit. Hold something over others' heads because they find it entertaining. So whoever this karmic is, like, will not only do whatever it takes to please this person, they also hold the fact that they do so much for this person over your person's head. Like, they buy this person's love. They are a cash cow. Your person holds on to them because they're scared of losing money, even though they're not emotionally detached. Shit, no, this person will do whatever it takes. And then whoever they're dealing with holds it over their head to make them feel guilty. Unhappily married and not wanting to fix things. There could be a commitment or a marriage that, here, but that's not for everything, okay? That's unfixable if it is. Let's see over here on this side, spirit, for the collective's energy. Resisting chains, afraid to turn that wheel, wanting to be left the fuck alone, spirit. Okay, so so even though you're resisting change and you're not trying to turn the wheel, you're wanting to be left the fuck alone. Spirit wants you to know that they do really care about you, but they're having an extreme difficulty expressing it. And look, it's right there. These are double-sided cards, okay? So what comes up right is what it is. This person does. They could be coming in and they could be trying very hard to get in your energy to get you to talk to them. Um, but they know you're not difficult. You're, you're difficult. 
okay, to control. And whoever they were dealing with is very, very easy. It's a pick me, okay? They were dealing with a pick me. And then this pick me holds what they do over this person's head when at the end of the day, you've done everything for this person. And their true feelings, what's funny is it says over here, they're not emotionally invested. And on a whole new deck over here, they say they really care about you. But they're having such a difficulty admitting it. So they could be acting hard. They could be like saying mean things or being like rude, okay? Because you're resisting them. But they don't know what to do with this. Because they're truly emotionally invested over you. And they can't express it. Yeah, then look. At the bottom again, after I shuffled them, someone got ghosted, scared, and had to run. Yeah, you could be the, the, the ghoster now. Let's see. Let me get one more for the collective wanting to be left the fuck alone, spirit. Ooh. I don't like the way that fell. Wow, cutting ties with their ex and moving on with you. I cannot make this shit up. So whatever they held on to for money, that could have been an ex. That could have been somebody that they like went back to because they had some kind of promise of some kind of money. But this person definitely, for you resisting change, you want to be left alone and be in seclusion, they're going to be coming through saying, I'm cutting ties with everybody. Like, I want to move on. I want to move forward with you. It was so crazy. It's a dog and cat is on this card, and my dog and cat are cuddling right behind me. My cat looks exactly the same. What's so different about your energy and the karmic's energy is that you, this karmic will do whatever they can to please them. They're not emotionally invested. They're holding on for money and the karmic used it against them. But with you, you know, you're difficult to control. So you're resisting letting them back in. You don't want to continue to turn this wheel and do this cycle. So you'd rather just be left alone and indulge in seclusion. I can buy myself flowers. I can talk to myself for hours. And what's so funny, what come out to clarify is that, is that they truly care about you. But for some reason, they can't express it. Cutting ties with their ex, moving on with you. Not even dealing solely with this person. I'm going to be quite honest with you. They're not solely dealing with this person. This person, because they're not with you, because there's some kind of separation with you and you telling them no, they out there fucking doing their thing. This person is charming. They're sexy. They're a player. They can pull who, you, who they want. And they are getting like pretty much doing what they want to do. But at the end of the day, they want it. Like if you it take, it'll take one, where are you at? Come over text from you and they'll be pulling up at your motherfucking front door within five minutes, even though they two hours away type shit. Okay. But because you're saying, no, nah, you staying strong. They, this karmic energy over here, this pick me thinks they got it in the bag. What's so funny is they're being, they, shit, this person's fucking with multiple people because they, one, they, one they want is you. And you're resisting them right now. Wanting to be left alone. And they, they might be respecting that. But they're not for long. They're going to be coming in. They're going to be coming back in and communicating. Alright? Alright, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.